As a pharmacist, it's Laura Schultz's job to break the bad news to patients about what they can and cannot eat. I hear many patients complain um, that they used to have a grapefruit every morning, but they're not able to anymore because of their medications. Check the fine print of some of the most commonly prescribed drugs, and the grapefruit okay. warning is there. Sudden death, uh, acute kidney failure, um, gastrointestinal bleeding, respiratory failure, uh, bone marrow suppression, and the list goes on and on. David Bailey accidentally discovered the interaction 20 years ago, and it received widespread coverage at the time. But the warning is being issued again in an article published today in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. Because the list of drugs that cause serious adverse effects has more than doubled in the last four years, from 17 to 43. And there are now more than 85 drugs that are known or predicted to interact with grapefruit. One of the biggest risks involves Lipitor, a widely prescribed cholesterol-lowering drug. Mixed with grapefruit, it can cause serious kidney damage. Other drugs include heart medications, anti-rejection drugs, and some sleeping pills. The problem is a chemical ingredient in grapefruit that allows more drug to be absorbed by the body. This is unintentional overdosing. There is no simple way to know which drugs will react badly, but it's always drugs that are taken orally, have low bioavailability, which means they are not well absorbed by the body, and interact with enzyme CYP3A4, which normally blocks the body's absorption of certain chemicals. But the solution is simple. Either ask your doctor for a different drug or avoid grapefruit. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.